Good morning. Good morning. I'm so glad you're here. We daily vlog. vlog. So if you like this video, come back every day. Yes. And we got a good friend over here, Minnie Mouse, welcoming us. To yeah, we're starting our day here. Friday and it's before noon which means it's the morning today is probably the only like the uh, fun cheat day that was not planned we really thought that our moving truck was going to arrive today I had all these appointments and Sarah had all these appointments yesterday and the day before and so we I couldn't work and the plan was to meet the movers today but they called the other day and said it's most likely going to be Sunday, which makes me nervous because they said most likely, which means it could be as late as Tuesday. Hey guys! Um, and I'm going to the office on Monday, so I, have, I need my work clothes and everything. So if they don't show up on Sunday, I have to go shopping. We have to figure out our life a little bit. But every there should be every reason that it shows up Sunday. Next week starts our true normal life in Florida, especially because hopefully we have our possessions. Yeah. But today it's a, just a beautiful Epcot day. Yeah. Little we might hop tree. later. Yeah. Um, we have to get some magic It's the true parenting game now, so we're dividing and conquering. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go get some coffee from Roll Monorail. Oh, happy Friday. <laughs> I'm gonna get a coffee at the BBC Lounge. Sarah's gonna go take Jamesy on. Nemo and friends. Bye bye. Have fun. Teddy's coming on me. We're in the TVC lounge getting cut number seven, eight, three, nine, four, two. Bom, bom, bom. Brew, please. Boy, does it feel great to be back in the DVC lounge. We're not hanging out here today because we just got here, but I needed coffee. But it might be Teddy's first time in the DVC lounge. Yay! All right, we're going to meet Sarah and James in the aquarium. After the attraction, Teddy's gonna look at some fish. Fish! Yes! Wow! It's like Dory! Look who it is! Did you like it? Precious bucket to constantly get refills for your children. Yes, and ourselves. Yeah. So I had to get a mead. Yeah. I got the orange blossom mead. Yes. We're at Honey Bistro. <laughs> Flatbread and chicken and waffle action. Ooh, yeah. I like keep forgetting it's the festival. It's just the loveliest surprise every time. Do we want a high top? Maybe you just. I want some shade. Yeah. Let's okay. try to find that. The perfect table. Sarah with her second bite because we were just too eager. <laughs> and the chicken and waffles. What do we think? C plus? D minus? Because it's like the honey bistro, it's more like sweet. Yeah, like just like decadent. Ooh, it's so good. And all the, the kids like it. It's a little spicy. I could eat a lot of this. <laughs> I'm about to dive into the flatbread. Looks delicious. And just like that, you give a, a small Brookhart Child Festival Epcot food, and he falls asleep before the stroll around the lagoon starts. We'll see. Next up, <laughs> Teddy. Literally this far out of the store. And Teddy's asleep. 
Got some ice water to fill up our cups. And Mama over here needed some substantial food, so we got a slice of pepperoni pizza from the back it's like, of Italy. It's so hilarious. It's hot, like the sun is like bacon. Yeah, so we're in like a little secret that not a lot of people realize is here. There's actually a little cove just past the pizza window in the back of the Italy pavilion. <laughs> and it's shaded. And this pizza is so solid. It was like 9.50, I think. Not a bad deal. Nine. And then just use eight fifty. Yeah. Into Peter's favorite shop of the world showcase. Oh yeah. And the pearls are back. Yeah. Look at these cute little Easter pearls. All right, the line isn't too bad for the back of France. I'm doing a classic move, a baguette and a coffee. A Brookhart snack classic. Peter went classic baguette and coffee for his afternoon treat. He got me this little chocolate tart. And who's this grabby kid? Okay, yo, he's awake. One of our all-time favorites, Canada far and wide. Time to bask in the glory of our heritage. <laughs> Look who woke up. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't tell me I want a bag of popcorn instead of a sucker. <laughs> what is this? Is that like a bath mat? It's very cute, yeah. Should we have a Mickey Mouse bathroom? So many choices, James, huh? Who is that? Goofy? Goofy. We're at the front of Epcot. There's Goofy meet and greet. Sitting on a bench in the shade. James and Sarah are making their way over here. It's James, you got a sucker. Hi, James. Hi, uh, you see Goofy? Say hi, Goofy. That's Goofy. Oh, gosh. Hey, Goofy. <laughs> a little shy. I don't think this is for my age difference. What if mom gives a high five? <laughs> Thank you, Goofy. Thank you. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Bye, Goof. I just some unsolicited parenting. Was it advice? I don't know if it's advice. One of the things Sarah and I like to do is to pick and choose our battles. James just slept the last two hours at Epcot. It's kind of a bummer for a little kid to sleep through a theme park. Our plan was to always go to the Magic Kingdom Resort area or the Magic Kingdom Park tonight. But now the question is, how do they get there? We have a minivan that's parked at Epcot. Do we take a monorail over? Where do we park? If we drive, what do we do? So in Sarah, last second was literally just like, hey, why don't one of us take the monorail over with the boys so they're in the stroller, we don't have to fight them getting in the car seats because it's never fun to go in a car seat, you know? To drive over to Magic Kingdom just to get out in the hot car and everything. So Sarah is taking the monorail with the boys. It's gonna be a fun little trip. And I'm gonna go walk to the car, take it, and drive on over to Magic Kingdom and park it and meet them back up at the Poly. So it'll be great. Fun, fun day. Anytime, all right? He's Thank always welcome. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye, my friends. Bye-bye. Nice. I handed James his glass and went, he went on. 
man. Glasses on. Oh, he's a lover boy. All right, so our plan was to walk to the Grand Floating for Gasparilla, but the path's closed and we got lucky because the next boat coming is a big yellow one, which means we can bring our stroller on because we did not bring a collapsible stroller. We bought the Bugaboo. So we're gonna do Gasparilla for dinner at Grand Floating and then back to the car, back home. Be a little productive tonight because the early start tomorrow, kids need baths, stuff to put together a crib, um, and just a few other things, so. This is the a Brookhart responsibility move instead of just closing out the park at 11 o'clock and fireworks and it's at 11. <laughs> it hasn't been that long in a long time. So waiting for a boat. I'm gonna enjoy some good food. They're playing Main Street like go play. Yeah, like Fantasmic Mickey Mouse on that boat. Also, Fantasmic Friday was on the table today, but we didn't want to put like pressure on it happening every single Friday. We're gonna make Fantasmic Friday happen a lot, but with it being our first Friday, we're like, if we do it this, we're gonna wanna like never miss it, and we just know like with life, we will miss it, but just know that we did not forget about Fantasmic Friday, and it will be a thing. And we needed, we had already been to Hollywood Studios, we needed to get to Magic Kingdom before Peter's work week started, because he's gonna be in the office this week, so it'll be a little bit different, like, schedule, so. That's why Fantasmic Friday did not happen. <laughs> okay, we got our food. What is this cannonball barbecue sauce? I do not know, but I'm pumped about it. So it was Jane. She and <laughs> Yay! We got my Italian sandwich and chips. James's grilled cheese and tomato soup and Sarah's. Like it's black, like a chicken sandwich. Yes. And James is having some french fries dipped in ketchup. And Teddy, I think, is enjoying some french fries. It's a good time. Great day. We just finished up dinner, forgetting the Easter eggs are out. Look at that, Kevin. Show it to the boys. Look at the little chickens on the bottom. Bird. So cute. We're gonna come back and do this properly. Yes, but not today. We need to. But take a little, a little peek. A little and then this, the grand cottage, a little. Yeah. All right. Both the kids are asleep and in their own rooms. That's the first. I finally put together Teddy's crib so he didn't have to sleep in the pack and play. Sarah's in the vlog trying to get us caught back up to near real time. And our dear friends Lauren and Mikey sent us a little housewarming gift. They sent us three bottles of this sparkling white tea, cranberry, and ginger, non-alcoholic like wannabe champagne. So uh, called toast. So we brought the bust up on one of these and enjoy that while Sarah edits. And I'm gonna start looking at uh, some of the vents. Our AC it's like significantly colder on our first floor compared to our second floor, and I know that's like normal, but like. I don't think it's as normal to the same degree. So I just want to make sure the vents are open on the second floor and settings on the thermostat are good. You know, fun stuff. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>